I think the key to the success at Sherman Software has been uh, a combination of a number of different layers. Sherman Software started in 1983 as a company providing IT training. We then evolved the business into software development, focusing initially on custom-made uh, software, and then we pivoted further to actually concentrate on software product development, which is somewhat different. We've developed two global firsts and leading products at a global level. The most recent of that is in the area to do with the non-aeronautical sector in the airports and in the shopping mall business, where we manage concessionaire processes for those types of businesses. And we operate in various countries around the world. We've got a strong presence in the Gulf, in Abu Dhabi and in Dubai, airports in Africa, in Europe and in the US, as well as uh, Latin America. I'm very proud of the team that we've managed to build up uh, at Sherpen Software. That team I've seen grown over the years, not just in numbers, but personally people's growth has been uh, fantastic to watch. And we've managed to build up a business which is very customer focused, based on a sense of integrity, which is extremely important in developing uh, good business practices. But what we've also managed to do is we've managed to build a spirit of collaboration uh, both in terms of people's activities but also for uh, people's learning. And as a result we've got a learning environment and the net result I believe of that has been that we've had a staff retention level which is particularly high. And that has contributed very, very much towards the uh, type of quality of service that we can provide to our customers. words of wisdom. I would say focus first of all. You need to be very clear about what you want to try and achieve and do a few things exceptionally well. And you need to follow a strategy. You have to have a clear idea of what you want to try and achieve and align all of your steps with that particular strategy. In addition, what you need to do is you need to have an environment which gets the best out of the people within the team. And of course, a bit of hard work doesn't harm. This project was part financed by the European Union under the European Regional Development Fund, European Structural and Investment Funds 2014-2020.